Last time you saw me build this epic outworld for my master barbarous ant colony. In this video I'm going to move them to an epic ant nest. You definitely want to watch this video until the end for a big surprise. I won't do a recap this video so watch the previous video to learn about the history of the colony and how this outworld was made. Link in the top right corner. My masters were pretty happy in their new outworld. I really wanted to connect a specific type of nest to the setup. Last video I teased you why the nest is elevated and now I'm going to tell you. I'm going to connect a vertical nest to this setup. A 3D printed vertical nest in fact. Let me first show you the aesthetic ants vertical nest. Doesn't this nest look super amazing? It's so unique and is something unlike anything on the ant keeping market. This nest is far from perfect, but I really love the aesthetic. Hydration happens via the mesh at the bottom. This has its perks, but also its downsides. In the future, I will fully reshape the vertical nest. I already set some stuff in motion, and let me tell you, it's going to be epic. With the new vertical nest ready, I attached it to the outworld. This went quite easy, and luckily no ants were around, so there weren't any escapees. I could not wait and watch the move, so I looked again the next morning. And to my surprise, the whole colony had moved into the new vertical nest. They moved all the brood and workers, but they did not move the seeds yet. Without the seeds, it all looked fine, but I noticed that the more seeds they transported, the less space they had. There was enough room in the nest, but I knew that there were a lot more seeds left to collect. I decided to connect another nest to be sure they had enough space. This went pretty easy and there were no escapees. Ants immediately started to explore and a day later the colony occupied the whole nest. I really love the look of this colony and love this nest. A vertical nest is nice since you don't have to hover over the formicarium to see the ants. You can see them at all times. You see that the ants have no issue walking up and down in the nest. Yes, occasionally some ants fall down but this is not a huge issue. I noticed some very interesting behavior with these ants. Some smaller workers hang down with the seeds in their jaws. My current theory is that they wait for larger majors to come by, crack the seeds and the smaller majors take them to the bakery. Bakery? Yes, these ants make ant bread from the seeds and have a dedicated chamber to process the seeds. It's very interesting to see. Last thing I did was feed the ants some grass seeds and some chopped up super worms. They weren't very interested, but I managed to make some nice shots. And that is where we're gonna end the video today. These ants will do great inside the nest and after hibernation I'm going to move them into something larger. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Enjoy some final shots of this colony. <laughs>